Hi guys, this is Andrew Nup, and today I'm going to do a first look for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, published by Gameloft. It costs $4.99 on Google Play and does require an internet connection to play. I hope they don't have an armed maniac only policy. Here's Gameloft's newest Spider-Man game, it just came out. Right off the bat, the graphics look amazing, definitely one of the best looking Android games out there. It has that console quality look to it, and you can definitely tell the game has high production value. It's fully voice acted, and the voice acting is very good. If you could cut the light show, I'm sure all the neighbors would really appreciate Just the person I've been waiting for! You can move around with a joystick, and you can also turn your camera. The combat is action oriented, you tap a button to attack, there's also a button to counter, and a button to shoot webs. There's a big skill tree in this game, and the skills can add new fighting combos and other stuff. Fighting's pretty cool and fast paced. There's a main storyline to follow, and side quests which involve helping people and fighting criminals. The game is open world, and the city is huge. You can swing above the buildings, and it's also cool that there's cars and pedestrians on the streets. This game does have some in-app purchases, which doesn't seem too bad. It's mostly to get more gold or to get these special spider suits. The biggest problem is this game has really bad frame rate. Most game loft games are really unoptimized when they come out. So unless you have a really powerful device, I would say to wait until they optimize the game first, because the lag really takes out the fun of the game. I mean, I couldn't even enjoy this first boss battle because it was lagging so much. Another big con is that this game requires a constant internet connection, probably because of the in-app purchases. So that really sucks you have to be connected to the internet to play. Overall, this is a really good game. It has the console quality feel, very nice graphics, an interesting fully voice acted story, a big open city to explore, and a lot to do. After they optimize the game and improve the performance, this game would definitely be worth the $5. Anyway, that's all for now. If you want to check this game out, you can find the link in the description below. Subscribe for more videos, and thanks for watching. Right. You've been wrong about you all along. You're a hero. Spider-Man! Now I can properly thank you for what you did to me! That's Spider-Man! That's Spider-Man! Hey, buddy. For what you did to me! Uh...